Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so let's do a reading. Good morning. Um, this reading can't be very long because I have to uh, finish getting ready for work and get on the road. So, but I, I really felt like reading today. So let's do this. So let's start out with the little Zen companion book, my little Zen book. Let's see what the message is for today. And hi, everyone. Thanks for being here with me. Love ya. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ninjis. Ninja's sitting across the room from me. He's so cute. He's watching. <laughs> hi, Ninja. All right. Spirit guides, ancestors, elders, our angels. Um... What message today from the little Zen book? What message today from the little Zen book? Oh, okay. 261. So it's like all about divine timing, balance, building. You're building at this time. You're very balanced at this time. You're focused on building and keeping your energy balanced. Great job. You're focused on being focused. <laughs> Great job. One day, Chao, excuse me. One day, Cheo Chao fell down in the snow and called out, help me up, help me up. A monk came and lay down beside him. Cheo Chao got up and went away. This is a Zen Cohen. So Zen Cohen is uh, supposed to get you to contemplate on something, on a story, and you just fill out, you think about it all day, process it. <laughs> so this is perfect timing. It just snowed here yesterday, you guys, where I'm at in Utah. Utah, Utah. Um, it just snowed in the mountains yesterday, um, and it's definitely, the weather's changed. But it's just funny about the snow and then, um, so obviously, right, the monk is very wise. The monk knows that the man needs to help himself, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hi, thank you for joining for a minute. It's very early here, guys, so. Um... Very good message. Help yourself. One of my favorite sayings, I've said it before in readings a long time ago, but like one of my favorite sayings or things I've ever heard is God helps those that help themselves. And however you think God is, whatever God is to you, uh, it's a universal energy, uh, it's Father Sky, uh, God, Master, Creator of all, I call, I call him, um, you know, whether you, you think God is like a God, goddesses, different deities, um, whatever you culturally believe, what you have come up with, the divine light, right? It's God. So God helps those that help themselves. So some people think of themselves as God, right? This is some people's beliefs, okay? Uh, to me, I was raised, I was taught that was blasphemy. However, each individual is a god and a goddess in their own sense. Okay, maybe it's good we're talking about this. Because you create what's going on in your life. You create that. And in that sense, you are a creator. What did God do? He created. So I'm not saying that you are God. I'm saying, though, if you love people that think of themselves as a god or goddess, right? Um, it's because they're saying that I'm the creator of my life. I create what's going on. Like, guys, big example. I don't want any part of any fucking drama. None. I don't want any part of these weird ass women who stalk me, who copy me. I don't want any fucking part of it. None. And I realize, and I really realize now, as I get older in wisdom and I've learned and grown spiritually too and emotionally, emotional maturity, that I don't need to have any drama in my life. I just don't participate in it anymore. And I'm not going to. 
I'm not competing with anyone. So if they want to compete with me, that's up to them. They could do their weird shit on their own. Okay, so what I've realized, though, is that, like, I'm not going to participate in that bullshit at all. And I haven't been. I don't go copy other women. I don't go stalk them on their pages and copy what they're doing. I don't do that. So what I'm saying is I'm not I'm not participating in drama. I'm not participating. Therefore, I am the creator of my reality. I'm not going to have drama in my future. I'm not going to have trauma in my future. I choose not to. I say no. I choose not to let fuckheads in my life anymore. And I mean that. I will be kind to people. Of course. Of course. Um, and also, I will let people now show me who they are. So if someone burns me, someone burns me, someone burns me, I'm not participating with them anymore. Because then it's on me. So does that make sense, guys? So I guess we're meant to talk about this today. Remember that you are the creator of your reality. You are the magician. If you're in a bad situation, let's make a plan. Let's figure it out. Make steps to get out. Okay? Or change your life. Change your situation. You guys, if you sit there and finger point, finger point, blame everybody else. You sit there and lay in the snow and go... God help me, God help me, God help me. Well, God's like, okay, I'm gonna throw you this person on your path, I'm gonna throw you this person on your path, I'm gonna throw you this opportunity. Are you going to take it? Because it's up to you. That's up to you. All right. <laughs> well, I got fiery there. <laughs> so remember, it's up to you. I picked the Light Series deck out today, guys. Let's go ahead and get this. It's on the bottom. Oh, the Fool card. Yeah, you're in a beautiful energy right now. Aww. Very beautiful energy with the Fool card. You have this laid back attitude. This big crystal. You're in the divine flow. You know, you have money. You know, you need money for this lifetime to survive. But money's not everything, and you know that. Um, you're in this uh, nice traveling energy, too you want to travel <coughs> coffee hello coffee cheers um also today guys i'm doing coffee with no sugar oh it's rough to get used to no honey no sugar i watered it down watered the coffee down um because it's not healthy for me i hereditarily used to build kidney stones i don't anymore i handle it holistically um that's also why i'm on the lose some weight train again <laughs> because i have to keep my body fairly healthy guys if i start gaining weight i will i and i eat bad then i will build kidney stones ah so mm, it's not <laughs> some unusual coffee but it's still good it's still delicious I got some vanilla creamer in there, but it's just not the same. But coffee cheers. <laughs> good morning, you guys. <laughs> or good evening, whenever this finds you. Spirit guide, angels, ancestors, and elders, thank you so much for this reading today. What is the message for today? Well, that was weird. A song just came in my head. Message in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Oh, I got chills everywhere. Someone find a message in a bottle? Like, literally? Someone leave a message in a bottle? I'm getting ch chills, like goosebumps everywhere. It's really warm in here. My hair standing on it. Message in a bottle. Oh. Message in a bottle. What's up, spirit? What's the message for today? 
Seven of Swords came out first. This person has all these crow feathers in their backpack and a knife. Jealous of you. Look at your energy. Told you, you're in the divine flow. <laughs> huh. Look at this person. They have all these crow feathers in their backpack, feathers. My Native American beliefs, guys, and ancestry, crows are very special. They're divine messengers. Who's this fuckhead that messes with divine messengers? Let's look at your energy. Yeah. What's going on here? Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. You're in a great energy. Like, you're amazing. You're celebrating. And it's not like you're celebrating anything specific, I don't feel, but you're just celebrating life. Like, you're passionate, you're fiery, you're creative. You have realized to enjoy life. Like, reminds me of the Don't Sweat the Small Stuff book. Like, you really embrace and enjoy life. You've got a suitor or suitors around you. Elaborate on this. You're in this like amazing energy and you walked away from someone or something. Wow. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands and Eight of Cups. What the fuck? What is this about in regards to this liar, this person with the crow feathers? What the fuck? Jesus Christ, they're not having a new beginning. This person's like stuck in some fuck shit. You are having success, major success. Anything you do is like, is going. Success. This is so weird, guys. The cards that are coming out are like, good. It's like, look at these crows flying around her. Look at the difference in the energy of these people, okay? Look at the difference in the energy. This is your energy. It's like it came under the Eight of Cups. It's almost like you know something's declining and you're watching it. And you're just letting it go. Look at this person's energy. A thief. A thief or someone that tries to hurt divine messengers? Maybe that's why part of the reason, guys, this little message... Uh, in the Zen book came out. Spirit wants to remind you, and I'm serious about this, be careful who you trust in life, in business, at work, even your jobs, guys. There is someone here that has, does not have good intentions, okay? This could be fraudsters online too, guys. It's fucking ridiculous. They think they're so smart. No, they're not. Don't be so desperate for love. Don't be so desperate for attention that you get taken advantage of. Do it yourself. Spirit even told you in that first Zen quote. Sorry guys, I had to pause the live for a minute. Hey, Shanu, hi. I miss you, how are you? Um, so whatever is going on, Spirit is clearly telling you that they're proud of you. 
I feel like you've ended a way of that you're thinking about things or people. Now with these cards that are coming out, you've ended a way that you think about people or situations or relationships, and it's very healthy. But Spirit is saying clearly from the first Zen message today, do it yourself. Don't count on other people to help you. That's in every aspect of life, guys. It's great when other people help you. It's wonderful. But be careful when you let other people help you. Be careful who you trust with your business, with your contracts, with too much knowledge about your work, about where you, you know, things like that, your personal life, especially online, guys. Wow, this is an interesting message. I just feel like you can look at this. The first fucking card to come out. There's some shady energy, shady things going on in the collective right now. So spirits reminding you, don't just sit around and wait for someone else to help you. Don't just lay on your back in the snow and call for help. Help yourself and be careful who you trust. Okay. Just be careful who you trust at this time. Someone's trying to steal feathers, divine messengers, like they're trying to collect feathers. Collect feathers. Trying to collect feathers. These crows are con. Trying to alert people. Okay, so someone, there's some thievery going on right now, okay? Uh, they, there is no new beginning for this person. Okay. So don't worry about that. They're getting their karma. I don't want you to be super paranoid, but part of life and being an animal and animal instincts is, a healthy, a little bit of healthy fear, right? And I don't mean fear because I don't want you to be afraid or fearful or paranoid. <coughs> <coughs> so why don't we say it this way? Healthy awareness, okay? So, guys, there's a lot of people, I'll give an example, that chose to do things away from these certain organizations or entities or other people because they just couldn't trust people and they would steal their ideas um, and then use them for their own, try to. It always eventually comes out. The truth always comes out. So, like when needed. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you just keep going is the point. You're having success. You're in a beautiful energy. You're in an attractive, you're attracting people energy. Um, it's people around you that have that same energy, the law of attraction that's going on. So it's absolutely wonderful. So it clearly says here, you're succeeding. You're going to have success. There's fast forward. There's forward moving motion here you left something or someone behind uh, but it was a good thing it was a good thing yeah you're not sad about this ending anymore you're just calmly hanging out just in the divine flow connected and you're like yep you're like, that's fine. You can go. That's fine. Aw, thank you. Hey, Danny. <laughs> thank you. But yeah, it's beautiful energy to be in. You know, normally, guys, in some decks, I don't like the Ten of Swords card. I don't like how it looks. This Ten of Swords card in the Light Sears deck is just beautiful. And, and like I said, the vibe I get off this, the dec I feel like what you let go of was how you look at certain things. Like, it's like you don't look at things that same way you do anymore. Like, you really, yeah, you like really let a lot of shit go. Good job. Okay, what else? What are the other messages for today? So, be careful of thieves around you, and I'm serious, or people who just want to use you in certain ways. Just be careful. That's all Spirit's saying. As this person, it's the person really around you. Uh, they they do not have a new beginning, and they will not have a new beginning with you. You're too smart. 
You're too intuitive. You're too wise now. You have learned. You, know, you have learned. You can see those thieving motherfuckers coming a mile away. <laughs> and you just act all nice and cute like your little elf kid face self. <laughs> Or your witch self, however you identify as in this magical world, or your human self. <laughs> and you just act all nice and cute, and you're keeping your eye on them, you know. <laughs> and meanwhile, they're in a cubicle somewhere going, or whatever, trying to scam all these people. You're just laughing. You just go, what the fuck are you doing, fool? <laughs> you're too smart for this shit. Even Spirit saying it right here. The chariot card. You're very, very highly spiritually protected. Very spiritually protected. Okay, and it's right here. It's the seven, the chariot, okay? A lot of spiritual. Spirit's got your back. It's like anytime you need to be picked up, you got your shadow. You got your light and your shadow side very balanced. Keep going with that. That's good. Yeah, I totally feel like what has ended for you is though it's like letting go of old ways you thought about things. Like you just you just see things and look at things and know like in a different way than you used to. That's amazing. Great job, collective. All right, what else? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, others. What else? I'm so glad I got to read today. Oh, there's a king of cups here. Very loving, supportive, business, spiritual. Awesome. What's going on with the king of cups? What's going on with this king of cups vibe? Oh, they're by the ocean and a boat. Look how magical they are. Got a little crystal thing they're wearing. I love the ocean. Maybe they love the ocean like you do too, or nature. What's with this king of cups? What's he doing? He has his hand in a healing bowl, a sound bowl. So maybe likes music like you too, too? Healing stuff. Or maybe you are the king of cups in this reading. What's up with this king of cups? You wanted to talk about them, Spirit. They're upright. This is a positive masculine. Oh. Okay, tell me what that's about. <coughs> They're seeing something now they didn't see before. Might be you. <laughs> They're seeing the world in a different way. The world card is, this King of Cups has come full circle. They didn't see something in the right way at first. Maybe you didn't too, because it's come out here. Maybe you didn't see things clearly or right all the time either. But yeah, the world card, you're very balanced at this time. Good job, keep balance. Very feminine, creative energy. Oh, yes, creative feminine force, which is like a Mother Gaia force, guys. Like, seriously. And this King of Cups has now come full circle, okay? This Will of Fortune card. They couldn't see something before. This masculine energy is very spiritual. They are a spiritual person. Um, they believe in mind, body, spirit. They might have a special connection to the water. For some of you, this could be represent a water sign. It doesn't have to, though. We can all embody traits of the King of Cups. But this is a masculine energy. They, I feel like, it, I feel like you didn't see in certain ways before, and now you do see better. And then I feel like what they're talking about with this King of Cups, it's not like an overall change. It's it's this King of Cups sees something different about you or about someone. They couldn't see what was going on before all the way. Now they do. 
They've come full circle. It's come full circle. They've come full circle. It's come full circle. Wow. <laughs> what else? What else? What about this world? Tell me about the, oh, the, the world card? It's the wheel. It's the wheel of fortune. You guys, I'm so sorry. Different cards have different imagery on it. And especially when I'm tired, sometimes I do that occasionally, but it's all meant to be. Holy shit, it's the wheel card. Sorry, guys. When I held up this card, a bunch of you were probably like, it's the wheel, April, it's the wheel. It's not the world. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever I said, I said, so it's was meant to be. You're definitely in the divine flow. I was right about that. Your wheel is turning. Okay, so based on this then, okay, all right. Based on this, the king of cups, okay, you got the wheel of fortune, <laughs> you got the wheel. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys, I'm a little tired. The wheel is even, is fucking badass. Your wheel is turning. Good karma. Things are moving in motion. Success. Um, good fortune. Damn. You're in the divine flow. Look at this lucky dice. Look at this lucky dice around her neck. You are so fucking lucky at this time. Shit just falls in your lap. Amazing stuff. Yeah, it's got a six and a four, ten. Got these lucky dice around her neck. So everything I said, I still stand by that because this King of Cups, uh, okay, so this King of Cups, whether it's you or someone in your life, they couldn't see something before, okay? Now they do, they, they could see it, okay? They're seeing it now. This is bring. They see. I feel like they see themselves, and they see you more clearly. They. I feel like they're understanding now how the wheel works, how it how it turns, how it works. Stay positive. Keep your prayers up. You're doing good. You're doing good. The wheel of fortune. <laughs> your wheel's turning. So that's amazing. So the wheel's turning for this King of Cups too. Fuck yeah. It's because the King of Cups is seeing things in a different way now. Wow, really cool. So you have grown so much, you're seeing things in a different way. And you're much calmer about letting things or people go out of your life. You realize the importance of impermanence. You realize that it's, it's important to understand impermanence. Good. Well, damn! So what's going on with this Wheel of Fortune? Money in the future? Spirit, what's going on? What's this Wheel of Fortune all about? Hell yeah, tell me more. What's up? What is up? King of Cups vibe, Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel. Two cards we got now face down. Mysterious. Secrets. <laughs> I can feel it. What's going on? Maybe you're keeping secrets so to keep stuff protected. You can feel. You already know this fucking fuckhead energy over here that's going on. Oh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Elaborate more on this. Why? I feel like someone is trying to stop you from a new beginning. Be careful of bad habits. But you have this Capricorn energy or there's a Capricorn around you. Doesn't want you to have a new beginning or they don't have a new beginning. Ace of Wands is still good for you because this is talking about someone else. 
The devil energy upright is normally a good thing, though, but the, I don't like it because of this Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like maybe the devil doesn't want you to have this new beginning. Maybe you're that powerful. This might be a Capricorn energy that doesn't want you to have a new beginning, okay? That might resonate for some people. Oh, but you got the wheel. You're going. You're turning. This is the chariot. This is an unstoppable force, spiritually protected. So it doesn't matter what someone else wants or doesn't want. Maybe this is also saying, too, that there's, I don't know, there's not a new beginning for something. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing in this case, all right? What the fuck are you trying to tell me with this? Elaborate more, please. What's going on? What's going on? If there is a Capricorn energy around you, as far as I could see, they're positive. Just so you know, because the devil card is upright, or it's a positive get it done energy, okay? What is this, this Ace of Wands in reverse? What the fuck? Yeah, see, you're spiritually protected. You rise above the rest. Uh, seriously. You rise. Like, you shine. And you're in this peaceful shine energy. You don't want any drama. Someone didn't want you to have a new beginning. Maybe someone didn't want you to have a new beginning with a Capricorn. I feel like this is more like business oriented and like your dreams and goals though, guys. This is creepy. Spirit just keeps reminding you over and over again, like the sevens and stuff, that you're spiritually protected. You shine above the rest. Okay, good. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, that you're <coughs> you're like <laughs> looking like I love it. You're like, namaste, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, namaste, motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about what you're saying about me. I don't give a fuck what you're doing because I'm doing my thing. All right? You're protected and you shine above other people. You got some jealousy going on here. Okay? Um, but you're not worried about it. You're not sweating it. Good. You don't give a fuck. You see things in a different way now. You just let shit go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> What's on the bottom? Because, oh, someone's losing possessions because uh, quarrels and battles. Jesus Christ. It's this devil energy. No joke. I wouldn't have saw those cards, but when I was doing that, like, pose like this, you know, I saw in the camera these bottom cards. The spirit's like, look at them. Fuck, this thief is losing possessions. This devil energy, this thief. Ah, this is why you're very highly spiritually protected. This motherfucker tried to do bad shit to you. If anyone tried to do bad shit to you. You're just living your life, trying to live your dream, being a good person. It's um, like spiritually protected. I'm not saying you're perfect, okay? We're not perfect. We're here to learn. But dude, this person is fucked. They're losing their possessions. All they want to do is quarrel and battle. It's like they can't figure it out. Yeah, spirit was giving a bitch out too today to some people, especially in the fucking beginning. Remember that Zen quote? Um, help yourself. Stop blaming other people. Why are you quarreling and battling with other people? And I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the karmic or whoever's being this negative energy around you. Because they're losing their possessions. Quarreling with people. Battling with people. What are they doing? Don't feel sorry for this person or people, okay? If this is really resonating for you and you have people in your life that do this shit to you, they're quarreling and battling with people. They're fucking negative all the time. And then they're like, oh, I don't know why this is going on. Well, they did it. They did it to themselves. They have to learn. 
They have to wake up, which means be more self-aware, take accountability, take responsibility for how you're acting to other people. I had to do it, guys. I'm not just preaching. This is a specific message today somebody needed to hear, or maybe many people need to hear. You know, like, don't keep these type of people around you, too. I want to warn people. If there's people going around quarreling and battling with everybody, like with everybody they come in contact with, and they just lose their possessions, all this negative shit keeps happening to them. It's karma. And if this person's a thief, it is definite karma. If they got, this is what happens, guys. I tell you, karma, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I have a lot of new uh, people. Hi, friends, new friends. Mwah, thank you. Followers, subs, love you guys. Um, if you get your money in a bad way, and I'm serious about this. I don't care how many millions. I don't care how many billions. And you feed off of other people like a fucking demon. And you make your money in bad ways. Slave driver ways. Illegal ways. Uh, build your biz, Like make little businesses. And then put other business out of. Like you go bankrupt so you don't have to pay small businesses. So you fucking keep climbing and you put these other small businesses out of business. So real thing, real thing, some of these people do in business and politics, evil. They, they get their karma. And you guys, if you feel like you don't see that justice this lifetime, trust me, they're going to get it next lifetime. Their next lifetime is going to be the probably one of the worst lifetimes they've ever had. So keep being good to people. You're being good. Yeah, this person is battling and quarreling with people all over the fucking place. They're toxic. Whoever this is, they're losing possessions. They don't have money. They don't have gifts. They are fucking lost. They're tried to stop a new beginning for you. Who is this fuckwad? Devil energy. But it's also Capricorn energy. I don't know. You are getting shit done. Even if it's slowly, even if it's baby steps, you're still, you are steadily climbing. This person can't stand it. This person's probably trying to steal shit from you. Who the fuck is this? You don't have to worry about it. You're spiritually protected, spiritually reminding. This person, it's here twice, this thief. They have no new beginning because they stole from others or they're trying to steal energy from divine messengers. Well, I got a message for you, karmic, whoever you are, you stupid fuck. You stay the fuck away from divine messengers. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> like the Michael Jordan ad. <laughs> like that Michael Jordan ad just came in my head. Like that old one that's like, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Ever is doing this type of shit you are fucked you're fucked and I'm not talking about my followers my subscribers I know my friends me familiar my homies my star fam I'm talking about whoever in the collective negative energy is thief and quarreling and battling with people they're losing their money losing their possessions they're so negative while well, you're positive Four of Cups in reverse, you're positive. You got this shit, man. Yeah. So while you gain and have the Midas touch, because you're just focused on yourself and building your castle, I mean, building your dreams and your goals, this person is sitting there busy trying to steal from people. Ooh, they're getting it. Greedy bastards. <laughs> All right, last pull, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders in this deck. I'll pull just a couple of angel cards, but um, what else? What other message for today? One last pull. Thank you so much. Can't end it like that. <laughs> Fuck you, thieves. <laughs> TV thievery motherfuckers. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Good morning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. What is it? What is it? Look at this. It's the Ten of Cups. 
I was right. Everything I'm feeling, the intuition. You're happy. You're enjoying things. You're emotionally fulfilling yourself. You've realized what does emotionally fulfill you and what does not. And you're really holding dear to that and you're enjoying the moments, okay? You're happy in this moment. You're emotionally happy in the future too. So whoever this thief is, whoever this jealousy is, okay? Whatever the fuck this negative energy or energies are trying to do, it's not gonna work. Your love, your happiness, your joy, it's protected. You're protected. Um, I'm just really proud of you. This is a card of you know what emotionally fulfills you. You are going to be happy and have joy, family joy, and emotional fulfillment yourself now and in the future. Good job. Fuck yeah. Ten of cups, baby. Yeah, well, hell yeah. We'll stop on that card. Thank you, spirit. So my intuition is right. Like, <sighs> that's just weird for this reading, guys. The first card to come out is seven of swords. So spirit just really wants you to be careful at this time. Who you trust, okay? Protect your heart. Protect your finances. And you're going to do great. You're intuitive. You know. You know. <laughs> Hi, good morning, everyone. All right, let's get some Archangel Tarot cards, divination. Um, let's get a couple more cards we want to sit, tell people for today, for today's Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, Elders. And I got to go to work. I got to get ready. I don't wear makeup to work most of the time, guys. It's like, seriously, 99% of the time I don't wear makeup to work. It's the atmospheres and places I work in. But... <clears throat> so I'm almost ready for work. I just kind of have to get changed and brush my teeth. <coughs> but yeah, I gotta get going. So you have a good day at work too, or your career, whatever you're working on. Have a wonderful day. All right, what's up? What last message today, Spirit? Let's go. What is it? This deck's so big. I have giant hands. <laughs> I have giant Icelandic hands. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> so, that flew out when I said Icelandic. Interesting. Eight of Earth. Eight of Pentacles. Work. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. So you're learning something new at work or in your entrepreneurships, your small businesses, your creative stuff, however that means to you, but you're something you want to make money with because it's eight of pentacles. It's about money, but you're learning. You're very skilled and you're learning more. Cool. What you learning? The sun card in both of them. Wow. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. <laughs> Have confidence in yourself. <coughs> Sorry, it paused, guys. This is amazing. You have the Ten of Cups, Work Card, like Eight of Earth, Pentacles, and the Sun Card. Fuck yeah. You're going to have an amazing week. What an awesome reading. So do the, other people are seeing you with that, guys, comes some jealousy and envy sometimes people that aren't emotionally fulfilled in themselves so you just keep rocking it focus on yourself be safe okay be safe with who you trust stay away from drama stay away from quarrels you know this is let this fuckhead whoever they are they're going to be in this energy leave them alone stay out of the drama you're in this energy wow Four cups in reverse, everything you touch turns to gold. Look at this. I'm so happy for you. You're going to have the most amazing, magical, wonderful week, okay? Oh, and happy Halloween coming up, everybody. Happy Hallow's Eve is what I usually say. Happy October. All right, love you guys. Damn, keep on rocking it. Keep doing what you're doing. Have a great day at work. Have a great day with your career today. Uh, whatever you're learning, working on, it is going to be so successful. One in a nine. One for spirit itself, nine for universal flow, dude. 369, get it done. <laughs> all right, I love you all. Have the best day ever. Thanks for being here with me. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Stay positive. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everyone that was in my live. 
appreciate you, Free Spirit Academy, for saying you love the way I read. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. All right, love you all. See you next time. Have a great day. <laughs>